My name is Kelsey Burnt. I'm a groom here at Canterbury Park and here is Quantum Leap. He's in today at Canterbury Park and I'm going to show you what we do for the day. So our race day routine is pretty much just like every other morning. We get here at 4.30 in the morning. Um, we focus on our runners for the day. So first we um, grab them out of the stall. They'll get a good bath. Now we're going to give Quantum a bath so he's nice and clean for his race today. It's a little chilly here at Canterbury this morning, so I'm going to throw a blanket on him. And now he's going to have a little hand walk for 20 minutes and then go back and install the rest. to put a big pillow of shavings here so when they lay down they can stick their head out and kind of have a little pillow. Today is day racing so there will be a difference for the horse. Um, we still give them their normal hay. We'll just feed them their grain earlier. Um, they'll have a shorter amount of time to eat it uh, before we take it away. And then we wait until the vet comes for a soundness check. So the vet just looked over Quantum Leap and we're all cleared and ready to go for the race today. Uh, race day is, with the night racing it's not too difficult because we have a lot of time in between training and racing. Um, but on Sundays we have to um, hurry a little bit and, and feed, or feed the horses earlier and uh, get the get the crew ready for racing. Catch in the barn horse and get your horse ready for the third race. Get your horses ready for race number three. Get them ready for the third. So since Quantum's already clean, I'm just wiping him off with some Shoshin to get some shine on him. Alrighty, and we're going to put some hind bandages on him today to protect his back legs. So this protects their back legs from hitting each other since they're going so fast. Um, their back legs can interfere with each other, so meaning that their, um, the metal on their shoes can hit the inside of their legs here. So this just adds some protection. Not all horses hit themselves, just some do. Um, just kind of the way they go and the way they run. He's very, very classy. He's done this one too many times. So now I'm going to rinse out his mouth so he has a clean mouth for the bridle. This is just water. And now we're going to put the bridle on. It's time to go. He goes in a ring bit, which is pretty standard, nothing super fancy. So horses get a little distracted, they're a little herd bound, which is by instinct, so they want to stay with the other horses. Uh, this just kind of makes them focus and stay in their own lane. Uh, like I said, not all horses need them. Some just need that extra tunnel vision to just 
stay focused and stay forward and not lean and drift out. All right. Now he's all ready to go and we're gonna head up to the races. All righty, it's time to go. So some of these horses aren't running with Quantum today. They're just up here to learn. So they're following us up these old, with these older horses just to learn. So when their very first race comes, they're ready and they feel more prepared. So he's an older horse. He's done this many times. He's very, as you can see, very calm, very collected, um, not being silly at all. So we'll, we all go to the receiving barn. Uh, that's where we get our numbers that we wear in the paddock. And we all circle there until everyone meets up at the same time. Uh, so everyone's coming from different barns here. So we're all gonna wait till everyone's in the receiving barn and we circle and the previous races ran. And then we all head up single file together to the races. All right, so now it's time to head up to the paddock. As you can see, he's starting to dance on his toes here. Very good sign of life here. We got, we got some amps to him. Um, he's starting to turn on, which we like to see. So now they're going to check their, his microchip just to make sure we brought the right horse up for the right race. Oh, buddy. Hello. Now it's time to put the saddle on. I like to be alone when I watch races. I don't like to be around anybody. Maybe it's a nerve thing or a, a superstition, but I, I wander on the front side. So now he's going to go warm up for his race with the pony and then hopefully we can end up in the winner's circle. circle today but he gave it his best and we'll try again next time uh, so now he's just gonna chill and you know take some much needed time to rest uh, races take a lot out of these horses so it'll take a few days for him to get back on his on his high horse but until then he's just gonna hang out and eat and sleep and be well groomed and just kind of hang out and wait until the next time and hopefully we can get him then